Hey guys, I'm back from LA and I'm finally home again. It feels so good to be back home and be back in my own bed and be back in my own space. LA has been really wonderful to me and I love LA so much. In all seriousness though, I would just like to acknowledge all the individuals who were involved in the massacre in Orlando, Florida this past weekend. It really is such a tragic thing in America today that the LGBT community can't even be themselves within their own community. It's such a sad reality that we live in today. So I would just ask that all of you please send your well wishes and please pray even if you don't believe in a specific god i would just ask if you believe in a higher authority figure that you reach out to them sending positivity and well wishes to all the individuals in orlando florida right now um if you are from orlando florida please go and donate blood i think it's something that would definitely benefit the hospital and everyone there greatly i'm not asking that you send any money i don't encourage you to send any money unless you know the, where the money is going to exactly and know the organization that's going to put it to good use i just ask that you just donate some time and blood if you're not from the orlando area please just share this message and share that orlando's area is in desperate need of blood donation so if you know anyone lgbt included they are accepting all blood donations without further ado let's get started into this video I did make a couple purchases at DragCon, but I didn't buy that much as I thought I would. One thing I did buy was portrait of Michelle Visage. She is like our vice president of drag. Michelle Visage is one of the nicest people I've ever met. Like one of the nicest celebrities that I ever met. And I do consider her a celebrity because she is such an influenza and she has done so much into the LGBT community and she is a woman. And it just means so much to see that she cares so much about our community and that She's an active fighter in this fight just as much as us. So Michelle is just such a sweet person. So I just wanted to shout her out before we get started. So she sits actually right here. Okay, so let's get right into it. So I did stop by at Morphe Brushes. I've been on the hunt to find affordable makeup brushes that are affordable and good quality and just are all around a great brand. I did find a couple um, brushes in the past that I really loved, but I wanted some more sophisticated brushes, some more Sephora style brushes that cater to blush and highlight and contour and some really conceptual brushes that are just more than your basic powder foundation. My first brush I bought from Morphe was the M426. One thing I found with the Morphe brushes collection in general is that some of the brushes they make don't necessarily have a description attached to them and that's kind of a good and a bad thing. It's good because you get to use the brush for what it's, what you want it to be instead of like what it's intended for. But it's bad because you don't necessarily optimize the best function of the brush because you don't necessarily know how it was built. I would kind of use this brush as like an all face powder brush. So like if I'm building coverage, if I want to build coverage in a certain area, I would use a pigmented face powder and I would just dot it across my face. Next brush is the 50 is the E53 brush. So this brush is kind of like a tapered, kind of like a pointed tapered brush. I would use this to apply actually powders, like highlights, contours, powders. It has more of a fluffy density. It's kind of dense, but it's also a little fluffy. So I'm thinking it's really good for blending. Next up is the Morphe E8 brush. Manny swears by this. So Manny MUA on YouTube, he swears by this brush. I forget what he uses it for. I think he uses it for under the eyes or like buffing out his concealer. But this is definitely why I picked this up. Um, this is definitely why I picked this up because I really want to see how it buffs out concealer. I like how it's almost like a kabuki style brush but it's more of a rounded edge so there are no harsh edges so it should be able to buff and blend out things a lot of creams much easier i want to see how this actually blends out my contour this is like one of the brushes that i got to the checkout line and i didn't necessarily know that i was gonna get but it's kind of like ended up in my cart so um this is the e6 it's like a flat top kabuki brush i'm definitely into applying foundations more with kabuki style brushes and more dense style brushes but i'm really excited to use this so this is the e6 and this is just a flat top kabuki i would use this for foundation it seems like it could definitely hold up its shape and applying foundation next up is that morphe m115 so this is just like an eyebrow spoolie i'm obsessed with eyebrow spoolies i really wanted to get this because i don't really have an eyebrow spoolie the only eyebrow spoolie i have is oh my god <laughs> leave that in there leave that shit in there you can't make this shit up people i don't really have an eyebrow spoolie brush the only eyebrow spoolie i have is it's always attached to a pencil um it's always attached to some type of pencil and i don't necessarily have a eyebrow spoolie by itself 
Next up, I have here the Morphe 221. And this is pretty much just like an eyelash comb. I really wanted this because sometimes when I apply mascara, like a, a volumizing mascara, it might look a little too clumpy to me. Like sometimes it gets a little too clumpy and I like really long lashes. I like long defined lashes. Next up is this brush. I didn't know necessarily that I was going to get this brush. This is the Morphe M133. I had to do a little bit of research with this brush because I didn't necessarily know what this brush was intended for. Apparently this brush is for filling in your lash line and really getting really close to your lash line and filling that in. So I th I think this is mainly used for tight lining. I really love tight lining if I'm going for like a sultry look and it's just like va va boom, you know, like drop ma. Tight lining is like my best friend. It just turns me from Michelle to Beyonce. Next up is the M409. Yeah, this is just like your flat angle eyebrow brush. I wanted to try to get this brush to see What's the difference between more of like an affordable eyebrow brush and a high-end really expensive one? Um, one thing I noticed off the back is that the bristles are a little bit longer and I'm interested to see how that wears over time because generally the longer the bristle the more wear and tear it gets so I'm interested to see how this holds up over time. Next up is the M560. This is kind of just like your crease brush. I really wanted to get a crease brush because I feel like on my natural days I just needed to find a crease and I'm out the door. And I really want to try this. It's like a pointed... I would say it's a crease brush. It's like a pointed pencil brush. It's the Morphe M560. Yeah, it's like a pointed pencil brush. Next up is the M421. And they say online that this is a brush designed for concealer but I'm actually interested in trying this for eyeshadow it has the stiffness I think that could hold applying eyeshadow and I feel like it has a little bit of that softness to blend it out like I would use this to pack on an eyeshadow you know like I, I want to use this for eyeshadow instead of concealer because I feel like for concealer this is pretty small like I know you could probably get into the inner corners but I feel like if I'm doing like a whole triangle this might be a little time consuming because it is so small so I'm interested in trying this for my eyes and packing on an eye color so I'll let you know about that and last but not least we have the M443 this is an eyeliner brush I don't wear eyeliner that much honestly I would be interested in trying this for tight lining because since it is such a pointy tip I could get right in between those lashes and fill them in you know so I'm interested in trying that for eyeliner that pretty much concludes my morphe haul i wouldn't really consider it a haul i just wanted to try some of their brushes and find more affordable brands who do make brushes i know but i really wanted to branch out and get more sophisticated style of brushes and seeing more dynamic intuitive brush designs instead of having like your regular powder blush i definitely will be trying these brushes out i can't wait to put them to work so thank you so much for watching today and i'll see you next time bye